Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we have Ellie Sue by Bonnie Brown. I'm gonna change her into something cute. And actually I'm just gonna leave, well actually, let's see here. See, she has full, full limbs, but, um, so she can have sleeveless and I wasn't thinking that but I think with this outfit I was gonna try a couple different ones so I may do this purple one because I do like this one and she might not even need a onesie under it because of her cute full limbs then she's got two onesies on. I guess I had them on for different reasons. But then this, I was gonna do maybe the blue with yellow, with a yellow headband maybe. But let me see how this looks on camera. I think purple today maybe will be her color. So, okay, so we're gonna change her and then we're also gonna change another baby. I won't tell you who yet, so I'm gonna try to do this fairly quick. And we're going to take off both onesies. And I was gonna talk about, a little bit about like how we are always, um, you know, worried about taking risks in this hobby with purchasing and not covering ourselves with, you know, if it's through PayPal with the um, goods and services. And, you know, I, I actually still, shockingly, I, I still do family and friends for s certain purchases, even out of the country. I'm just one of those people that kind of just hope for the best. And at the same time, I do get a little worried, but I do take that risk. And I could give you an idea of right now, what kind of I thought could be a risky situation that um, makes me think that we can probably not, we probably can never fully have this hobby be risk free with you know we that we are gonna have to take a chance here and there even you know even with our money and it, sometimes it's just how it plays out i know not everyone's like me and they would probably speak up more or you know secure themselves better so a situation that i have right now and it's not a situation but i'm you know it, it could be and it could have been so Okay, so I saw this artist work and she did a kit. I just unbuttoned this. This alpha is handmade. She did a kit that I am in love with. I already have, I had two of those sculpts already painted and I did give one away. So I always made sure to keep, you know, the one that, well, at least one of them in my possession. And a couple of times I thought of buying it's a sold out limited edition and I looked one up on eBay and thought of buying it and then I backed out and it sold obviously. So when it came time, which look at this guys, it doesn't even look right because the cloth is showing. Uh, oh well, I don't think she's going anywhere. When it came time, when I did, when I saw this artist's work and I fell in love with it, I'm like, oh my God, I need this kit painted this way or close to it. She made it look so beautiful. And because that's always been a favorite of mine and a couple of times, like I said, I went searching to see if there was any on eBay and I passed up that kit that time and it's, it ended up selling eventually. And I had to like, you know, find another kit. Well, luckily I did. You know, some people have these kits in their stash, you know, many kits in their stash, and they don't ever reborn them. So they um, they have them and then they are like, uh, end up selling them and some make pretty good money because when you hold on to those kits and then they are sold out, 
it, they become worth more money because people they're sought after. So the artist, I I had talked to her prior to it, and told her how lovely that doll was, and how what a great job. And she said, "That kit is a passion of mine. That is my dream come true. Sculpt. Do you think you can find one for me in America?" Because I told, and oh, and she said, "And I'll paint it. You know, I'll do the work for you." And she also said, if you can find me one, you know, that would be great because I can't get anyone to ship one to Russia because it's so expensive. And she sent me a website of where she had seen one, but they want it like, oh my God, like I, I think $800. So I was like, no, that, that's just impossible. Forget that. So I put a message out and someone came cross with one for me and I got it and I was having like all these thoughts I was like what if like I send this one of a kind sculpt sold out edition not one of a kind sorry I meant limited edition you know sold out to the artist and I only could find one and she decides to keep her I me. Mean, I wouldn't have no recourse. You know, you, you all these things go through your head, right? So I held on to it for a while. And she was reaching out to me and asking if it had come yet. And um, I needed time to think because that kept going through my head. And I should keep working while I'm talking. How's that? And what a cute headband, huh? Oh, Ellie Sue, you look adorable. We named her Ava. Okay, you look beautiful. Now we have to get our other baby. See, guys, how precious she is. Look at her artwork. Look at her painting. And Pearl from Happiness Nursery in Australia did this baby. I love the Ellie Sue. So we're gonna sit Ali Sue over, over here. Um, let me finish my story. Um, yeah, so for a while that was going through my head. Okay, so we have here Serenity, and this is the Gabby Gale by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she's finally gonna get out of this comfy one piece which I love and I love her little hearts with the cupcake on her her socks yeah so okay so I was getting back to the story and I was thinking like I, I was worried about you know sending this sculpt out because like I said that what if it's not coming back to me because this person, I couldn't find her another sculpt for herself. What if she just decides, I love it so much, I'm keeping it, but part of me was like going through, running all the stuff through my head, like, well, she's an artist and she's on Facebook. I mean, would they really jeopardize their reputation? I mean, things could get out. You know, you can tell people things like, oh, guess what happened? This artist did this or that. And so I don't know if they would risk that. But then I also was like, well, if someone loves something, I don't know how much she means that she loves it. But as the time went on and I decided, you know what, just, just knock it off, send it out to her, you know, and I know that we were at first having a little trouble communicating because of the language barrier. And I was worried about that. I'm like, what if she doesn't exactly know what I'm talking about and what I want and need? <sighs> I don't think I ever stressed that much over a custom. But as we were messaging back and forth, we were learning how to communicate more. And um, that was good. It was working out. So I sent it out. It took a while to get to Russia because... You know, once it got to customs, they held that for a good week. We had to brush her hair down. So, yeah, they held it for a good week. And she finally got it. And um, 
then as time was going by, you know, I was felt bad that I told her I couldn't find her a sculpt. And that was okay, you know, and she said she was going to take a little break after finishing up quite a few dolls to get her passion back and her inspiration. And I said, well, you take your time because I want you to have so much inspiration to create this doll, you know, as beautiful as you did the last one. So the good news is I was able to find another kit for her just this past week. So I messaged her and told her was she still interested. And she was. So then we had to negotiate how was this going to happen. So I pay, I actually ordered it and paid for it. And, you know, through PayPal. And... It was American dollars, so I explained to her if she couldn't pay it, you know, back to me in American dollars that we will deduct it from my sculpt's work, but I could not take what it costs on eBay, American dollars, and, you know, transfer that to euros because, or I don't, yeah, euros, because I would lose money but she is also losing money and she had to understand that so she was okay with that so I deduct it I put her what was the balance in euros and then my American money for the kit and deducted that and she agreed on the price so she's gonna have her own kit I didn't get the kit yet from from eBay. I'm waiting. This, this should be coming any day. And then I told her I'll ship it out to her. And then I was like, how many people would do this? Like, yeah, I didn't put a deposit on the baby. So what I would be out if anything did go wrong would be, because I'm going to even send her this other kit. And most people might be like, well, I wouldn't send it to your other dolls done which is true and I don't know maybe that could happen but I have this feeling I'm going to send it to her so the most I could be out is over $500 between the two kits and I charge her for the shipping so you see what I'm saying I don't know if everyone would agree with this but like you know we don't have contracts we aren't covered by any specific thing with some of these sculpts being painted by these artists, you know, that we're not too familiar with and they are in another country. So I don't know that you could ever fully be risk-free in this hobby. And um, so, yeah. I just, in many of my transactions, I hope for the best and hope that, you know, even that they send you the baby because, you know, you could even fully pay off a doll and God forbid you think in your mind, oh, what if they decide not to ship it? Or what if they, you know, something happens to them in the process and I never get the baby. Those are all risks. And yeah, I just am curious how everyone, I, well, my comments aren't even on, so I can't get a lot of feedback, but I guess my thought is as much risks and scamming and things that we think about in this hobby and to protect ourselves, we can't always do that. I mean, because you gotta figure if, if someone, if someone's doing a custom for you, and she didn't even ask for money from me yet. It's pretty much, I, I sent her the kit for her to paint. And so I would have lost out just on that. Which made me nervous because it is a limited edition, sold out edition. So yeah, that could be nerve wracking. 
but I do trust her now and I feel comfortable. But the same thought went through my head like, oh my God, well, I'm sending her another one. But I, I just, my gut's telling me now everything will be okay. So guys, look at this gorgeous little yellow outfit. I seem to have a lot of yellow summer outfits. I've been into yellow lately. Oh, I didn't need to unbutton that. We're gonna unbutton here. What brand is this? Kylie and Dina. Okay. I bought it from an Instagram clothing sale. You know, I, you know what's so funny? I noticed the one thing out of all the silicones that Gabby is prone to is picking up sparkles. And I don't know why. Why sparkles? I mean, I know they do stick to silicone and sometimes you're like, well, where do they come from in my house? But it could be anything, an outfit, uh, something that was out six months ago in your house. But she does have that texture, but I have to say none of my silicone has this texture. Not even my um, princess from Claire. So I love this. It's really cool, this feeling of her. And she's obviously Eco Flex 20. I mean 30, sorry, 30. Yeah, but you can still feel your hands get slippery. When you touch the silicones from the from the uh, matting powder that they mat them with, you, you do get a slippery feeling after you have touched them or picked something off of them. That makes me wonder, if you're, every time you feel that, I wonder if I would kind of think it's coming off of them too. We're putting this on you, Gabby, which her name is Serenity. And then we're going to choose a um, yellow headband or another bow, like you have your pink one. Okay. Oh, she looks precious. So I don't know if you guys understood all that. It was just a bunch of mumble jumble chatting but the point was just that where there's always going to be some sort of risk in this hobby i i feel so bad and sorry for anyone that has been burnt when it comes to a doll or a chargeback or uh, anything a, a bad baby that you paid for um you know any of that but i have to say that i still I'm caught in situations, but I, I have to have the faith that it will all work out. And so far it has, lucky, lucky. Hopefully it'll be fine this time around and I will send her off another kit that I paid for both so far and my baby will come back to me finished and then I will pay her my balance. But yeah, it happens, and many times I have paid, which I just recently paid this past week with friends and family, and I purchased from this person one other time, and the baby came, but every time I click that friends and family, I get really scared, and I know I'm taking risks. So, I hope my day never comes, but you just, you never know. I wet this brush. It's still a little wet, right? Oh, I want you guys to be able to see me brushing her hair. Oh, I've been, I've been going up with her bangs. I thought that looked cuter. But now this brush dried a little. in the video so 
So you have that piece up. So do you think we should do a, another barra? I think so. And we're gonna have to wet this down some. I didn't bring my little spritzer up. Look up at the camera. Now she gets to stay barefoot and I get to enjoy these beautiful piggy toes. Yes. All right, let's bring you this way so we can see. See you guys, I have this one and or I was going to do this, which look at that. She has a ball right here. How cute would that be? That would be cute, but I don't know. I think it's either that. Hmm. I think for now we'll just keep what we've been doing a bow up here. There she is. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. Our new subscribers, welcome to our channel. Hope you're enjoying our content. And please remember to hit the like button and be on the lookout for our next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.